It is very important that what we can get is the, um, the cross-platform uh, capability of Qt. Uh, designing one product for market takes, takes very long because you want to decide what you want to see out there and there is a lot of trial and error, a lot of user studies. But once you have it, transporting it to a different operating system or different platform is something that we really get out of Qt easy. It's a very important uh, property of Qt was the ability to use a meta language, to use a, a, a very simple way of describing what we want to get on the screen. So we don't have to have uh, a UA designer trained in uh, the language so he can focus on the design. Speaking about user experience, uh, for the company that does graphics and drivers and actually pr produces hardware as the major product, uh, we have a, a very limited opportunity to showcase that actual product to our customers. They usually see our product to the fantastic performance of when they're playing a game or fantastic visual experience on their display. But the real interaction with our products come with a, a small piece of UI that sets up graphics card. This is where Qt came very handy and from a very um, windowed, uh, detailed uh, user experience managed to get us to the point where we have a layered, semi-transparent, uh, very organized experiences for the users. We also are able now to create two levels of experience for the users. So the experience for somebody who is just trying to set up a few things on the graphics card to the experience for the a gamer who would want to get into all the details of their card and this whole can be organized very nicely, layered with, uh, with our partner messages and uh, linked to the overall experience.